Thanks for joining me for this 10 day trend where we look at the weather patterns and trends for the medium to long range. Now in the short range, there's some more severe weather on the way. Plenty of heavy rain to come and there are weather warnings in force. I'm not gonna go through those in detail here. If you want to know the latest on the severe weather, download the Met Office app or visit our website. Now I'm looking at the longer range trends, which are for more of the same. It does look as if generally well into next week, it stays unsettled. Further spells of rain and uh, often blustery conditions and always staying on the chilly side as well. There are hints that perhaps things could turn a little bit milder as we go through next week. But the weather patterns kind of been stuck in a rut now for a number of weeks. Let's take a look at the big picture. This is the jet stream. Notice it driving down to the southwest of the UK, up across Greenland and then driving south. And in this position, it generally allows low pressure systems just to sit in here and mill around across the UK. That is why we keep seeing those spells of rain. Now, why are we seeing this repeating weather pattern? Well, one of the reasons is over in the United States. We're seeing a repeated pattern here, cold plunges, areas of cold air drifting south from the Arctic over eastern parts of Canada and eastern parts of the United States. And we get another one of those pushes of cold air driving south this weekend. Why is that important? Well, the cold air derives south, clashes with the warmer air over the tropics, and that gives the jet stream a bit of umph, a bit of extra energy. It pushes it to the north, up across Greenland, and then that drives down to the south to the west of the UK. Now this is the chart for Sunday, but it does look remarkably like that one I showed you a minute ago uh, for the one on Wednesday. So again, that weather pattern is set to repeat for the next few days, and we stay on the cold side of the jet with low pressure nearby. Now those low pressures will bring further spells of rain, one particularly across eastern areas into Friday night and Saturday, could cause some further problems. And then this one just flirting with the southwest on Sunday. But notice it's not going to rain everywhere all weekend. Some places will be between those two weather systems. So there will be dry spells around this weekend, but just don't expect it to be warm. We stay on the cold side of the jet, so it's going to be chilly. Morning frosts are very possible and also some fog patches as well. But as I said, it won't rain everywhere all weekend. There will be some dry periods. We do need to flag that rain potentially across eastern England, certainly on Saturday morning. What about beyond the weekend? Will we continue with this repeating weather pattern? Well, chances are yes. I'm gonna show you a Hovmuller plot now. Now it's quite a complicated graph, but it does show the repeated cycle quite clearly. Now this is longitude along the x-axis to the bottom. There's the UK at zero, the Greenwich Meridian. This dotted line represents where we are now. Things above that are going back in time and things below it are going forward in time. So this is the projection. It's basically a slice through mid-latitudes, uh, medium or upper levels of the atmosphere where red represents higher pressure and blue represents lower pressure. Now don't worry too much about deciphering the detail. I just really wanted to show you the repeated pattern. As we go back in time here over the past several weeks, you can see that we've had this repeating pattern with high pressure, low pressure, high pressure, that's across the mid-Atlantic, and there's the UK stuck in that slightly blue zone. That's why we've kept on seeing low pressure systems across the UK. And it's also important because I want to show you going forward, that pattern is likely to stick around well into next week. So we're likely to stay with low pressure close to the UK. One subtle difference though that I want to highlight, just that red blob there. Areas to the east of the UK, just showing signs that the high pressure here may intensify, it may get a little bit stronger next week. And if we see slightly higher pressure over the near continent, it means the lows may not be sitting as close to the UK. They're more likely to be a little bit further west. And if that's the setup, this is the most likely setup through next week, it means that the winds perhaps could start coming more in from the southwest. Now that's important for a couple of reasons. It suggests that through next week, perhaps, it won't be quite as cold. I'm not suggesting it's going to get warmer. We generally stay on the cold side of the jet, but it won't be quite so cold. Temperatures back closer to average. And it also means with the winds coming more in from the west, that it's western areas that are more likely to see the outbreaks of rain, which is good news with the flooding across parts of the east, of course, but not great news because it is very wet already across the west. So that's the themes into next week, yet it remains unsettled. Low pressure will be the dominant feature but we are more likely to see a subtle shift with more wet weather in the west compared to the eastern temperatures, perhaps just rising closer to average. 
as always, there's a lot of uncertainty. These are just the general trends. And as I said at the start, for the details of the very latest weather warnings, make sure you stay weather aware by visiting the Met Office website or following us on social media.